Hello guys, we are set up in my kitchen because I have the girls working in the office and Nick's actually working from home just from there. So this is going to be our new makeup station for today. I was just craving doing a makeup tutorial today. I just wanted to sit down and put some makeup on my face. I've been loving this. It is the Clinique Moisture Surge Pop Triple Lip Balm in Goji Berry and it obviously moisturizes your lips it's like a beautiful lip balm but it gives it a little bit of color and i often don't like having a color tint on my lips i feel like it makes me look a little bit weird but this color just makes it look like i've got nice flushed lips so been loving that it's every day especially when i've not been wearing makeup today's video is sponsored by clinique as well i'm going to be showing you guys their new flower power range which you know this is my favorite moisturizer it has been for years so obviously first up i'm going to hydrate my skin using my clinique moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing moisturizer i went off the pill about four months ago if you guys have seen my last video where i talked about it and my skin has been really readjusting itself i have no idea what type of skin texture and skin type i am anymore because it just honestly feels like it changes every day. For the majority, for the most part, I feel like I've become a little bit more of an oily skin type. And I was using so many heavy creams at night while I was on the pill. So this moisturizer is the only thing that I've been using recently at night and in the morning that's keeping my skin as clear as possible every time i try to use a new product that i feel like is going to help me with my breakouts it just makes me break out even more so this one is just literally more than ever right now my go-to moisturizer like it's like a gel consistency it's like a drink of water for my skin but it literally is the only thing that's not breaking me out because i'm starting to get um a few more breakouts around here and around here they're not necessarily visible but you can feel them and they hurt so i've been trying to just keep my skincare routine as basic and simple as possible so that's the finish you guys have heard me speak about this a million times before so there's nothing new here i absolutely love it as always but um how cute is the new packaging cutest bottle as well to have in your bathroom <laughs> can't go wrong with the moisture surge i haven't used my nars foundation in such a long time and I was sort of doing a little bit of an organizing of my makeup collection the other day. And I saw it and I realized this was once my favorite foundation. And I haven't used it, honestly, in I reckon a year. It's probably a little too dark for me. It's probably very too dark for me. But I didn't bring another foundation over here. It's all still up there. So we're going to have to make it work. I am wearing fake tan though, actually. So maybe it will be okay. <laughs> Eek. I haven't been wearing much makeup at all because of my launch. I've just been doing a little bit of maybe mascara and like this on and maybe a bit of blush, but otherwise I've not done a full face of makeup in a little while. So, oh my God, this reminds me of Sam circa 2016 when I would put like orange, orange foundation on my face and I thought it looked so normal, but <laughs> looking back, I was literally a walking oompa loompa just goes to show because this is my old color like i haven't ha i haven't got a new color of this this is Cy syracuse syracuse so <laughs> it's funny okay so the concealer i brought down as well i just kind of wanted to try some new products because well there's new and old products but i haven't tried this one yet it's the hourglass i don't think i've tried it anyway but it's the hourglass concealer and i feel like every single brand just all of a sudden came out with a new concealer at exactly the same time. So I have heaps of concealers that I'm wanting to try. This will hopefully brighten my face up a little bit. I really need to, you'd think after like six years of YouTube, I'd learn how to do camera, <laughs> camera stuff, but I just still after all this time, have no idea what I'm doing. Radio. So I'm going to jump onto the bronzer now. This is my first time trying it. So it's a first impressions, but it's called the Clinique Powder Pop Flower Bronzer in Solar Pop. That's how it looks. It's so pretty. It's literally got flowers all over it. And it's supposed to give you like a beautiful matte natural bronzer. So if you guys don't like to go too crazy with your bronzer, this is super buildable and um, 
quite natural. You can see it's not too dark, so it's like an easy beginner bronzer, that's for sure. Oh, I really like it. It's a really nice color. Now that I look at my face, it actually is fine because I've got so much fake tan on. <laughs> Next up as well, I want to try the blush straight away. I have become so into blush. I feel like everyone's become really into blush recently. This is the Cheek Pop Blush in 19 Pop Blush. Blush Pop. <laughs> blush Pop. These Cheek Pop Blushes are really pretty. They like add really nice natural sheens to your cheek. Love that. And I always go over my nose for that sunburnt, sun-kissed look. So the thing that I'm probably the most excited to try is actually the highlighter. So I'm really excited to see how this looks. Again, it's got those really pretty flowers on it. It's really pretty. It gives you that glassy skin look, which is my favorite. I'm not into glittery highlighters. I don't like it to be too crazy noticeable. I like it just to look like you've got a really nice healthy sheen. Just like you're naturally glowing. You can tell on the nose how natural it is. It gives it, gives it that really glassy look. Blah, blah, blah. All right, now I'm gonna actually take the bronzer as well again and just put it in my crease. I forgot to do that before. I'm not gonna do much eyeshadow, but I am gonna do like little individual falsies. So I feel like I'm the all I've been talking about obviously is my brand one mile um, and I don't want to talk about it too much in this video because I feel like I've already talked about it enough and I don't want to annoy you guys with it but um, I just do want to take like a little second just to thank you guys for your support and so incredibly well obviously with the current climate we weren't expecting to have very many sales or we just didn't really know what to expect to be honest and um, you guys <laughs> absolutely proved us wrong and were so supportive, just extremely grateful. So if any of you guys bought anything or even looked at my website, said anything, commented, did anything to be involved, thank you so much. Now it's going to be tricky for me to navigate not speaking about it and trying to just like also continue doing normal things with you guys that don't, don't involve one mile because, um... That is my life now. We work together full time in the office every day on one mile. We're just like a fully functioning running business now. Daisy now works for me and she is across a lot of the social media and customer service. So, and she's been an amazing, amazing help. I'm so lucky. I literally, I could not have even fathomed doing this without my team. Like they have made this so much fun. Sorry to interrupt, Hello. but I think this is worth <gasps> interrupting for. Oh my god, where were they? We're just in like some random bag. Oh in my the, god. In the closet. Oh my god, thank god. I was looking I for lost a pair of swimming AirPods. goggles and they were there. Oh, which bag? Oh, uh, just like a clothes bag. Like, oh, thank goodness. Brand stuff, you know? Oh, thanks, babe. So appreciate that. There's nothing more annoying than when you get something that's relatively new and then you lose it and you've just lost it because you've done you're stupid <laughs> all right i'm gonna put some mascara on i've been using the Too faced better than sex mascara i love this mascara i think it's really good i have now been without eyelash extensions for two months a good change i think because i've become really accustomed to having them and then when i don't have them i'm like it's like shock horror at what i look like i'm like ah been a good forced change. One thing that I do notice when I have to wear mascara is that how bad I am at it. I can't put it on without getting it all over my face. It's so hard. So it sounds so pathetic, but I really struggle putting mascara on. Yes, anyway, the last thing I'll say about it is um, I just want you guys to let me know what sort of content involving One Mile you would like to see from me because Obviously, I'd be happy to bring you in on everything, all the changes and decisions we make and everything we're designing coming forward and whether you'd want some advice on business and how, how I started my business and the whole process behind it and everything like that. I can, I can do all of that, but also I am conscious of not wanting to overload that content. And I think it would be fun having you guys involved in a lot of the designing process behind it all, like having, you know, next time we have a collection coming out, if we're going to restock the knit melbourne pants for example getting your input on maybe if you'd want a different color or 
ha having you guys help me design it. I think that that would be really fun. This is a, this is the one mile singlet as well, just in case you guys are wondering. Just brushing my eyebrows up. Our neighbor always screams <laughs> and literally every single time I ever want to film anything, she always starts, starts screaming. I'm trying to film a video, but that's what that is in case you guys are wondering. Um, it's a little tricky to do on camera actually. So it's Friday and we're probably gonna make some margaritas tonight, have a celebration, because I launched on Monday. Sorry, here I am talking about it again, but I launched on Monday, and so we weren't really able to properly have a huge celebration. I honestly am really struggling. <laughs> Hang on, BRB. So in ISO, I've been watching a lot of Emma Chen on stories, and she uses individual eyelashes, and so I'm inspired by her, so thank you, Emma. She's such an amazing makeup artist, and Every time I watch her stories, it just makes me want to put so much makeup on my face. It makes me <laughs> like want to experiment and play with makeup again. She's very inspiring. What else? 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 I'm just sitting in here with my makeup bag that I've just been... I always keep inside just when I want to put makeup on from inside. And this is my Clinique Moisture Surge <laughs> before I got the new Flower Pop. So perfect timing for me. Urban Decay Glide On lip liner this one's in the shade hello uh don't see a shade oh liar it was i've been filling in my cupid's bow recently i mean i've been doing it for a little while but just rounding it out oh this is so blunt ow okay, and then i have this nars lippy this one is in belle de jour belle de jour it's like quite nude I'm just going to put a little bit on in the center. That's actually really pretty. Bad boys, babies. Seeing as the shoulder pops happening. Glowing today. Yeah, this is a really, really beautiful highlighter. I love a glassy highlighter. I think that's all I'm going to do because I want it to be like a really natural, pretty look. What else can I say? What else can I bore you with? I'll see you very shortly in another video. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Mwah.